Okay, you are really not a morning person. Just back off! <laughs> to back off. Used as a command to stop telling someone what to do or stop criticizing them. To move away in order to avoid something. You are really not a morning person. Just back off! Noise. You! <laughs> it's the chick. She's going through some changes. What kind of changes? Well, the vet seems to think that she's becoming a rooster. Noise. Too loud or unpleasant sound. What is that noise? You! A chick. A young chicken. Vet. Short form of veterinarian. Animal doctor. Rooster. Adult male chicken. To seem, to give some impression or feeling, to have some visible aspect or quality. Well, the vet seems to think that she's becoming a rooster. Hey, what are you doing shopping at 8 in the morning? Well, I've been up since 6, thanks to somebody's dumbass rooster. <laughs> you guys, you really should get rid of those animals. They shouldn't be living in an apartment. Yeah, especially not with all these knives and cookbooks around. <laughs> to get rid of something. To throw away or destroy something you do not want anymore. To take action so that you no longer have something. You really should get rid of those animals. Hey! hey. Wish me luck! Oh, good luck! Good luck. And I'm still right. <sighs> so not true! Oh. What? She's mad because I know today's her laundry day, and that means she's wearing her old lady underpants. <laughs> I can check that for you. Laundry, the clothes that need to be or have been washed. A place where clothes are washed. Today's her laundry day. Underwear and underpants. Both terms mean clothes worn under other clothes. For men, there is no difference. For women, term underwear can include bras, underpants, or panties, used to specifically refer to women's lower underwear. And that means she's wearing her old lady underpants. I just can't believe that you think that you and Chandler know me and Rachel better than we know you. You can only eat Tic Tacs and even numbers. <laughs> yeah, what's that about? <laughs> and you, Ross, I believe if you check Rachel's bag, you will find a half-eaten box of cookies in there. <laughs> You're good. Odd and even numbers. An even number can be divided exactly by two. An odd number, not able to be divided exactly by two. You can only eat Tic Tacs and even numbers. So not impressed. Everybody snacks when they shop. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Ross, how many items left in that bag? Five. OK, 10 bucks says that we can name every item in that bag. <laughs> how many guesses do you get? Six. Challenge extended. To snack. To eat small amounts of food, especially between regular meals. Everybody snacks when they shop. To extend. To make something bigger or longer. To offer something to someone. Challenge extended. Deal. Challenge accepted. <laughs> All right. We'll start with <laughs> apples. Yes. OK. Uh, tortilla chips. Yogurt. Diet soda. Yes, yes, yes. Deal, a formal or an informal agreement used for saying that you agree to something. To accept, to say yes to an invitation or offer to take something that someone gives you. Deal. Challenge accepted. Tortilla chips, thin, flat pancakes that are made from corn, usually salted. OK, uh, tortilla chips. I got it. Scotch tape. <laughs> How did you know she would buy scotch tape? Well, we used up theirs last night making scary faces. <laughs> oh, man. All right, 10 bucks. Fork it over. Cough it up. Pay the piper. <laughs> Give me it. Fork it over. Cough it up. Informal idioms have similar meanings. To give something, especially money, to someone when you do not want to. All right, 10 bucks. Fork it over. Cough it up. Another example. You don't need this. Now, let's not, let's hang on a second here. Cough it up. Fine. 
I don't know if we up. should be doing anything too official. Let's well, work together. We're working together. Here we are. It's like, let's make a deal. Here we go. All right, fork it over, smart man. <sighs> Give it to uh, me! Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sir. Shut I up. Know. Too late for that. Give me that pipe you got down there on the floor, too. Quickly. Pay the piper, the idiom, to pay the cost of something, to face the consequences for some action, usually something you've done wrong. Pathetic, aren't they? Everybody wants to go to the party, but nobody wants to pay the piper. Are, are you... Don't get too excited. It's just a Halloween costume. Uh. All right, that's enough. <sighs> <sighs> Looks like it's time to pay the piper. Griselda, seriously, it's time to pay the piper. Now go get my checkbook. That does not mean you know us better. I, I want a rematch. Yeah, and none of these stupid grocery questions. Real personal questions. Yeah. And the winner gets a hundred bucks. You serious? Oh, you scared? No. <laughs> grocery, a store that sells food and small things for the home relating to the stuff that you buy in a store regularly. None of these stupid grocery questions, real personal questions. Okay, well, who, who makes up the questions? Ross will do it. Oh, sure, Ross will do it. It's not like he has a job or a child or a life of his own. Well, fine, we'll ask Phoebe. Uh, no, 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 I, I want to play. To make up, to invent something as a story. Poem, song, explanation for something, etc. Okay, well, who, who makes up the questions? The coin toss to see who goes first. Okay. Somebody call it this time. Yeah. <laughs> Tails! It's head. <laughs> You can only eat Tic Tacs in even numbers. And that means she's wearing her old lady underpants. Fork it over. Cough it up. Pay the piper. Challenge extended.